Hello, my name is Anna Lipp. I'm one of the consultant anaesthetists at the Norfolk and Norwich University Hospital. We have made this film to show you what will happen if you need to have a planned operation. We hope watching this film will answer any questions you may have and help you to prepare for your operation. We know that waiting for an operation can be an anxious time for patients and their family and carers for many reasons. You may wonder if you are fit enough to have an operation, particularly if you have other medical conditions or need to take medication. You may also wonder what additional tests may be needed before your operation and how and when these will take place. You will need to know what to do on the day of your operation regarding taking your medication and eating and drinking. After your operation, you may be able to go home on the same day if you have someone to take you home and look after you there. Or you may need to stay for a day or more until you have recovered sufficiently to go home. You will need to plan how you will get home and how you will manage at home while you recover. If you are usually at work or have other responsibilities, you will need to think about handing these over for a period. We hope that the information which follows will help you to prepare for your operation by getting as fit as you can, helping you to make a smooth recovery afterwards. Before your operation, you will be called by one of our pre-assessment nurses who will ask you a few questions about your general health, any previous operations you may have had and about your medication. For a large number of patients, this will be all that is required, but you may be asked to attend our pre-assessment clinic in person. Hello there, my name's Frankie. Can you have a seat over on that side for me? Thank you. Thank you. To send you home with is the admissions information booklet. So on page four, we'll have your eating and drinking instructions. For a seven o'clock admission, we'd like you to find the morning. Hello. At the pre-assessment clinic, you will spend some more time talking to our pre-assessment team face-to-face, -face, including an anaesthetic doctor. You may need to have some further investigations, such as blood tests or a heart tracing, an ECG. Okay, all right, we'll give you some anti-sickness medications to try and prevent that from happening. Okay, okay. just have a look into your heart, okay? Carol, I'm Shirley. Is it alright if I just do some observations? The nursing staff will be able to spend longer with you, asking further questions, checking your blood pressure, height and weight. The pharmacists, physiotherapists and dietitians are on hand to help prepare you if needed, in the best way possible for your operation and the period afterwards. If you can keep on, I can take them, but everything else will need to come off. Right. All right. Okay, then. Lovely. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Hello there. Hello. Okay. Um, the anaesthetist may want to see you to discuss your medical conditions in more detail or any medication that you take. They will be able to talk to you about what to expect on the day of surgery and any risks for the, your operation so that you have an opportunity to ask questions and share in the decision making of your own medical care. They will also give you some important advice about your health and how you can improve this before your operation. This may include stopping smoking and dietary advice, as well as working with your GP to improve the control of diabetes or high blood pressure. The physiotherapy team will be on hand to give you advice about how you can help in preparing your body, including your breathing muscles, before your operation. Here, one of our physiotherapists will give you some advice about some important breathing exercises to try at home to help prevent chest infections after your operation, and these will help to keep you strong for your recovery. After you've done those breathing exercises, it's ever so important to clear the secretions. 
secretions inside the chest can cause chest infections and we don't want that at all. Yeah. Carol, the, ta the towel's there just to support your wound and sometimes takes a little bit of an edge off the pain. Okay. So the towel's really important. It just helps to feel a, a little bit more secure but also helps to um, reduce reduce the pain and the discomfort that coughing can, can cause. Coughing is absolutely important. It doesn't cause any damage to any structures and it's very important to clear the secretion. There are a lot of things that you can do to help get ready for your operation and these will help reduce the risk of you having any problems afterwards. We recommend you take 30 minutes of light exercise a day if possible. For you, this may be a short walk or taking the stairs instead of using a lift. We are happy to give individual or specialist advice if your situation makes exercise difficult. So far, we have covered how to help improve your health before your operation by taking steps to stop smoking, improving your diet with help from us and our dietitian team if needed, taking some gentle exercise every day, improving the control of diabetes if this applies to you, making sure your blood pressure is under control. What to expect on the day of your surgery. You will be given some advice regarding eating and drinking leading up to your surgery, so you arrive in hospital with an empty stomach. It is very important to follow this guidance to keep you safe during and after your operation. We do want you to continue to drink clear fluids up until two hours before your operation, so you don't become dehydrated. This includes water, squash or black tea or coffee, with no milk. The hospital staff will be on hand to give you advice about this on your arrival. Arrival in hospital. You will be given the location and time for your arrival on the letter which you will receive from the hospital. Aim to arrive in good time, but be prepared for a short wait in our waiting area until the nursing staff are free to check you in. On the day of your surgery, you will be greeted by the nursing staff who will ask you a few important questions and take your observations such as your blood pressure and heart rate. On occasion, you may require a blood test on the morning of your surgery, depending on your medical background and procedure. You will also see your anaesthetist and your surgeon prior to your operation, giving you the opportunity to ask any questions. Have you ever had an anaesthetic before? Yes, I have. After your operation, you will spend a short time in our recovery area next to the operating theatres. Here, one of our recovery nurses will look after you after your operation. They will check that you have everything you need, making sure that you have help with pain relief and feel comfortable and warm. They will also regularly check your observations, like your blood pressure, to keep you safe and well. Your anaesthetist and surgeon will check that you are recovering as expected Hello, and are on hand to help if needed. Hello, recovery nurses. It's lovely to meet you. You've just had your surgery. You're going to be okay. You're just in recovery, okay? Here, one of our surgeons from the Norfolk and Norwich Hospital takes us through what you may experience following your operation. After your operation and spending some time in the recovery area, the nurses will move you to one of the surgical wards or alternatively a high dependency ward depending on the type of the operation you're having. This will usually be discussed with you prior to your surgery or on the morning of the surgery with the surgical team. After your operation you'll be seen by the surgical team that usually will see you every day, usually in the morning. They will assess and monitor your recovery very closely and respond to your needs as they arise. You will also notice there will be other people involved in your recovery, such as physiotherapists, occupational therapists or dietitians, and this will depend on your type of operation. It's very important that you play an active role in your own recovery. Before you go home, the nurses and the doctors on the ward will check that you have everything that you need, such as medications and painkillers on discharge. They will also check that you have uh, all the dressings that you require for any wounds, and if any follow-up is in place. If you need advice about returning to work or returning to driving, then please ask a member of staff, such as the nurses or doctors. Thank you for watching this information video. If you would like more information about preparing for your operation, 
the Royal College of Anaesthetists has information for patients available on the patient section of their website.